Coach Angie Montgomery headed back to state, Coach, and um, what great match, wild match. Yeah. Shenandoah brought it, and uh, yeah. you guys ended up getting the win. I guess overall thoughts on just a really great volleyball match. It was it was a great match. We knew absolutely that they were going to come out and be ready for us, and you know I think our kids we played excellent in sets one, to, uh, one, three, and five. Mm -hmm. That side of the court, just we we couldn't really get yeah. really into much rhythm passing. Couldn't do what we knew we needed to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know we got some good tip looks and you know that kind of stuff, but we know we've got to get out and hit the ball, and that just wasn't quite happening for us. Um, our blocking was really on when we were on this side of the court too, and you know those are big game changers. They're they're two hitters. We're swinging for the floorboards and swinging for that green banner too, and I think we just we were a little bit better as far as well being well rounded. But you know, hats off to them. They did they did a fantastic job. You know. Yeah, interesting. Uh, you talk about sides of the court. Yeah. Is that is that something you, that really usually comes into play? Yeah, sometimes it does. Okay. Um, you know, usually when you go into that fifth set, you don't. You know, it's you, you be aggressive and go mm -hmm. for the serve. We went side, and you know, yeah. that was that's what we needed to do in this situation. We had our crowd behind us, and it was, it was so loud in here. It yeah. was an environment I think we thrive well in. So. Um, you've got you know Kate and Grace and Angela. Sierra had a big match. Yeah, Madison Gilbert. Does she just come up with the biggest plays? Or she what? does. She does. And you know, she's somebody. She's kind of our blue collar worker. Mm -hmm. She's not somebody that's going to get out there and lead us with kills every night. She comes up huge in the back row. Yeah. She's extremely aggressive from the service line, and yes, yeah, she puts away those big points where you know, you know, that, that when when you least expect that you're going to be going to her, that's when she comes out and, and really slams it home. So, uh, going to state for the third straight year, four out of five, uh, 13th time in Red Oak history. I mean, yeah. uh, it's just common practice, I guess, right? What's what's your feeling? Does it feel any different? I mean, you know, this is the last time with these seniors, so maybe you know, it's a little different. Yeah, it is. You know, each group each group is a little different mm -hmm. as far as what they bring. You know the 2010 team you know we were the Shenandoah coming in and, yeah. and upsetting Carol in that match and so you know you've kind of been I, I feel like we've kind of been at, at it at different angles and, and this group has so many people returning from not just one trip but a couple yeah. you know so I think we are we are poised and ready to make some noise up there we've we've been focused on that all season not just getting to this point um, but making some noise up there and I think these kids have all the all the pieces to be able to do that. Sounds good to me, Coach. Yeah. I'd like a deep stay as well. But, uh, I would as well. <laughs> thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. See you there. Yeah, thanks, Eric.